Hello friends, welcome to Bhaini Nirmal and in this video tutorial we will be talking about alpha, beta and gamma diversity. Before going to a discussion about alpha, beta and gamma diversity, you need to understand that what is biodiversity. Biodiversity means uh, in this world there are presence of various kinds of species. Actually 1.7 million species uh, still now has been discovered and uh, these all species are actually called as biodiversity. Okay, So the various kinds of species, various kinds of organisms uh, is actually called as biodiversity. Diversity can be seen in every level but various species is actually called as biodiversity right so biodiversity can be divisible into the three uh, broad parts one is species diversity that is the various types of species and this is called as the species diversity and another is genetical diversity and the genetical diversity means the diversity uh, of the genes or the alleles or the chromosomes in a population or in a species but ecosystem diversity means the diversity found in different types of ecosystem and this is called as the ecosystem diversity and alpha beta and gamma diversity is actually the division of the ecosystem diversity right so uh, before going to understand about this uh, you should know few important terms one is the region so what is region so to understand about the alpha beta and gamma diversity you sh you need to understand about the region so region is a place where many habitats are found so the region is a places where many habitats are found and these are called as the region and there is no barrier in among, among this habitat so this is called as the region so you can see that this is a region and in this region the four habitat uh, are present and show uh, and uh, there are no uh, the, uh, there are no distinctions among this habitat so this is called as the region so these are the habitat okay and this habitat may be homogeneous habitat or this may be same type of habitat or this habitat may be heterogeneous habitat right so these are very very important when you want to understand about the alpha beta and gamma diversity you should know that what is homogeneous habitat and another is heterogeneous habitat so homogeneous habitat in a region are those habitat where where the ecosystems types are same okay types are same suppose here is a pond one and this is another pond suppose in a region there are presence two pond one is pond one and another is pond two so these are the homogeneous habitat because the species the the species which is found in the uh, pond one and the same type of species can be found in pond two so these are the homogeneous habitat so what is heterogeneous habitat the habitat which are different ecosystem which are different ecosystem okay suppose uh, there are presents a pond and this is a suppose this is a forest okay or grassland or grassland so these are different habitat and so they are called as the heterogeneous habitat right and so the species which are found in the pond and these uh, species cannot be found in grassland okay so these are actually called as the heterogeneous habitat so the heterogeneous habitat are actually those types of habitat which are actually different uh, ecosystem in a region okay so the pond and the grassland and so these are the two different ecosystem so these are the different habitat right so in the pond the species which are found in the pond this cannot be found in the grassland so this is the concept of uh, homogeneous and the heterogeneous habitat and now i shall tell you that what is alpha beta and the gamma diversity okay so that the alpha diversity alpha diversity means the diversity found in homogeneous habitat and this is called as the alpha diversity so diversity diversity found in homogeneous habitat in a region homogeneous habitat in a region right so this is called as alpha diversity next is 
beta diversity so beta diversity means diversity found in diversity found in heterogeneous habitat two heterogeneous habitat so two heterogeneous habitat in a region two heterogeneous habitat in a region and this is called as beta diversity and the gamma diversity means diversity found in different heterogeneous habitat heterogeneous habitat in a region in a region and this is called as the gamma diversity so if this is a region and these are the homogeneous habitat and this is the heterogeneous habitat and this is another habitat and so and uh, here is another habitat okay so the diversity found is this homogeneous habitat and this is called as alpha diversity okay because the species which are found in this region this can be found also uh, this different habitat so this is actually called as the alpha diversity but the diversity which is found in two different uh, region two different heterogeneous regions so this is called as the beta diversity because the species which are found in this black region this cannot be found in this red region okay if this is a region and there are present of many of the habitat and the diversity which are found in this uh, in this homogeneous habitat that is which i have drawn in the black color and this is called as the alpha diversity and the diversity which are found in these two heterogeneous habitat that is one is black habitat and another is red habitat and this is called as the beta diversity and the diversity which are found in all of this habitat and these are actually called as the gamma diversity okay so this is the basic difference in between alpha beta and gamma diversity hope you have clearly understand that what is the difference among the alpha beta and the gamma diversity so in a region there may be present in various types of uh, habitat and this habitat may be homogeneous habitat or the heterogeneous habitat and the diversity which are found in homogeneous habitat this is called as the alpha diversity and the diversity which are found in two different heterogeneous habitat in a region and this is called as the beta diversity and the diversity which are found in different habitat in a region and this is called as the gamma diversity okay next what is delta diversity actually and if there are presence of two regions so this is region 2 and this is region 1 and if these regions are separated by any of the barrier okay so the biodiversity found in two different region and uh, when these are separated by barrier and this diversity is called delta diversity okay so this is called as the delta diversity next uh, i shall show you that uh, what is the relationship in between alpha beta and the gamma diversity so alpha diversity into number of habitat patches is called gamma diversity is equal to gamma diversity and the beta diversity is equal to gamma diversity and alpha diversity and here and here you can see that a uh, few problems and from these problems you just uh, you should uh, calculate that what is alpha beta and the gamma diversity so in the first problem you can see that uh, this is a region and the green color is the region and these are the habitat and this all habitat are the homogeneous habitat right so these are homogeneous habitat so in the first problem i am just uh, going to solve the first problem so this is homogeneous habitat since this is homogeneous habitat so habitat patches is one okay and uh, you know the relationship among the alpha diversity and the gamma diversity is that the alpha diversity into number of habitat patches is equal to gamma diversity and here the alpha diversity is 2 alpha diversity is equal to 2 because in this homogeneous habitat there are presence two species one is a and another is b so the alpha diversity is 2 and next the gamma diversity gamma diversity will be alpha diversity into number of habitat patches is equal to 2 and beta diversity you know that the gamma diversity 
by alpha diversity so 2 by 2 is equal to 1 okay so alpha diversity is 2 gamma diversity is 2 and beta diversity is 1 right and this is the second problem and in the second problem you can see that there are presents many of the heterogeneous habitat there are presents four heterogeneous habitat and in one habitat there are presents a species a b and a second habitat there are presents a species c and third habitat d and the fourth habitat e and since in these four habitats the different types of species are present so these are the heterogeneous habitat right so habitat patches habitat patches here is four okay so average alpha diversity average alpha diversity in the first habitat there represents two and second habitat there represent one third habitat one and fourth habitat is one by four two plus one three four five five by four point two five okay and next the gamma diversity so what will be the gamma diversity so gamma diversity is alpha diversity which is 1.25 into number of habitat patches is equal to 4 so so this is 5 okay and beta diversity is gamma diversity by alpha diversity so diversity will be 1.25 so alpha diversity and the beta diversity are same but the gamma diversity is huge since these are the heterogeneous habitat and in the uh, third in the in the third problem you can see that these are the homogeneous habitat okay so because in all these types of habitat there are presence of same kind of species so these are the homogeneous habitat so alpha diversity and there are presence a b c species so alpha diversity is 3 okay and habitat patches since these are the homogeneous habitat so habitat patches is one right so gamma diversity gamma diversity is alpha diversity into habitat patches shaman three okay and here is the beta diversity is equal to gamma diversity by alpha diversity okay so gamma diversity here is three and alpha diversity is 1 so beta diversity is 3 and in the fourth problem you can see that there are presents uh, four habitat and all of this habitat uh, contains the four different kinds of species so these are also the heterogeneous habitat and I have told you that when in uh, in two different habitat there are presents same kind of species so this will be called as homogeneous habitat and if different uh, species are present then these will be called as a heterogeneous habitat so this is obviously an heterogeneous habitat so alpha diversity is 4 okay and gamma diversity alpha diversity into number of habitat patches so habitat patches is uh, 4 so this is 16 okay and beta diversity gamma diversity by alpha diversity is equal to 4 right I hope you have understand about the alpha beta and the gamma diversity and in the next video tutorial we will be talking about mega diversity country biodiversity hotspot and uh, the conservation or the preservation of the biodiversity in situ and ex situ conservation and the distinction uh, among the biosphere reserve national park sanctuaries uh, etc okay so thank you and that's it